Tom Com Tobacco Barn, uh, talking a little bit about Mirsham pipes. Uh, Mirsham is a uh, German word meaning sea foam, a sedimentary layer of uh, mineral uh, deposits uh, found in different parts of the world. The finest uh, uh, Mirsham is found in Turkey in the Plains area that one time was uh, covered by seawater. Uh, marvelous smoking instruments. From my understanding, Europeans were smoking Mirsham pipes before they discovered the briar root. That went until about 1850. Uh, the fun of a Mearsham pipe, of course, is seeing it color over a period of time. Uh, some examples uh, of Mearsham that we have here at the Tobacco Barn. Uh, this one is called uh, uh, the Whale. To me, it's more kind of the, the soup's ladle, you know, here you go. And here's your portion, here's mine. But neat little pipe, more intricate. Uh, uh, pieces, uh, the Greenman uh, series. Mr. Emin, one of the renowned Turkish carvers, uh, did this uh, piece for us. Another piece, and I think Mr. Emin did this piece as well. As you can see, Mirsham pipes are not only smoking instruments, but uh, uh, their works of art as well. A church warden pipe in Mearsham. This is what we call lattice. Each one of those holes is individually hand carved by the pipe maker. Marvelous, marvelous pipes and lattice pipes uh, from what I've seen, the uh, color just absolutely exceptional. Another marvelous piece, again by Mr. Emin. And another man. This is what uh, I refer to as a museum piece. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, showing that Mearsham pipes are artistic pieces as well as smoking instruments. Uh, there have been many people who uh, uh, never smoke these pipes, but just collect them from the standpoint uh, uh, of the artistic value. It's just uh, old world uh, artistic craftsmanship on some of these pipes. Again, that material uh, is mined in Turkey in the Plains area outside the city of Eskishur. Uh, had the opportunity to go into a shallow mine uh, where uh, uh, the worker with a pickaxe uh, picks out a stone maybe this size, uh, what uh, we call for a, a mini pipe. Now if you go down uh, 100, 150 feet, and I had no desire to go down 100, 150 feet, they harvest the bigger what we call block Mearsham uh, uh, pieces. Uh, due to the passage of tens of thousands of years, the compression of the earth against the stone uh, yields a larger higher quality uh, Mearsham, and some of these, of course, uh, marvelous uh, pieces are made uh, from the, the bigger, high quality block uh, pieces. Mearsham pipes, marvelous uh, smoking instruments, uh, artistic uh, pieces as well. Uh, it's great to have a couple of uh, Mearsham pipes in the collection. Here's a wonderful example of a, uh, a real old Mearsham pipe that was out of the James Allison uh, collection. Uh, you can see the patima on that. Uh, at one time that this pipe was completely uh, white. So this is a situation where the pipe uh, is smoked uh, for a lifetime. He hands it down to his son, who hands it down to his son. Uh, sometimes uh, you can uh, tell more about a pipe as far as dating uh, from uh, the case uh, than the pipe itself, uh, the case definitely looks uh, early 
1900s. Uh, the stem uh, kind of tells us as well that's a real old pipe uh, before rubber, before plastic, which they use uh, lucite stems. Uh, they made fine pipes from uh, amber, which was a petrified uh, uh, tree sap. And that's a fine example of a, a wonderful old amber stem on an absolutely uh, uh, gorgeous, what I would call museum piece, uh, uh, Mearsham pipe. And that's the original case? Yes. And how old do you think that is? I would date it to about uh, 1900. <laughs>